How is it going everybody? You're watching the Anabal Tech and today let's talk about iPhone virus and more specifically how to get rid of that. So the first thing I want to tell you is iPhone viruses are extremely rare, okay? They are not as common as people think, but at the same time, they could happen under very specific situations, okay? So just to be clear, I have never seen an iPhone virus in person. I've just read comments about it and stuff about it, but okay, let's begin. So if your iPhone is behaving a little bit weird, if it's not behaving correctly, if things are opening automatically or you're pressing on websites, like you're trying to go to websites and then you go to other pages you get redirected to other pages maybe it's very unlikely but maybe you have an iPhone virus so uh, how can you actually get an iPhone virus there are pretty much two different ways you can do that one is if you jailbreak your device okay because if you jailbreak it uh, then you open ports on your iPhone and then you allow some it could allow some worms or, or malware to be actually installed on your iPhone that's possibility number one but again and jailbreaks are very very uncommon now in 2020 and possibility number two is if you install third-party apps so applications that are not from the app store and you can do that even without jailbreaking your phone you can actually download apps straight from Safari okay so of course by doing this you can obviously download uh, malware and apps that are malicious okay that could happen there's also another possibility which is not actually an infection is not really a virus that's why I said there are only two ways but it makes you think that your iPhone is infected that your iPhone has a virus and that is through some very uh, uh, malicious ads I'm gonna put on the screen an example right now and then one of those ads they make you feel like your iPhone has a problem because it looks like an official message from Apple and then it's saying that your iPhone has been infected but it hasn't there's no virus there's nothing like that it's just um, uh, again some person some hacker some developer trying to steal from you your money your data to make you think that your iPhone is infected but that's not the case okay so I, I just uh, excluded that from my first two possibilities because that's not a hack or anything like that but you may still feel like your iPhone is infected it has a virus or something so how to get rid of that actually again there are two different ways uh, on how you can protect yourself against that and how you can get rid of a potential virus that may exist uh, situation number one is in Safari as I said sometimes you're opening a website and you get redirected to another uh, and page, pages may look weird or something so it can be some kind of warm inside Safari how to fix that is actually very easy all you have to do is open your iPhone go to settings and then you're gonna scroll down and then you're gonna look for Safari as you guys can see and then you're gonna scroll down again and you're gonna look for clear history and website data with that we're gonna clear pretty much all the data all the background info like cookies and things like that that are inside Safari okay so all you have to do is tap again on the red button clear history and data and you're good to go okay so that's possibility number one so is a strict problem with Safari and then that's gonna like reset Safari and help you out with this possibility number two is if your iPhone is really infected it, it really does have a problem and then you need to find a way to actually deal with that and remove all of that and the only way to do it is by resetting your iPhone so formatting your iPhone and how do you do that again you don't need a computer or anything like that all you need to do is get your iPhone once again and then you're gonna go to settings uh, one more time and then right at the top you're gonna click on your Apple ID before we reset we need to check your data so because as you know uh, when you reset your phone you lose all the information so we need to to secure your data all right so then tap on iCloud and then uh, you're gonna scroll down and actually you're gonna see all the information that you have that's connected to iCloud uh, you may ask me okay but why don't I just do a backup I don't recommend a backup because if you do that if you have a virus it's gonna be carried 
uh, in the backup as well. So there's no point doing that, okay? So then make sure all your information is saved here. Make sure your photos are saved in iCloud Photos and everything like that, okay? So then after this, you can just go back to the first screen on settings, scroll down to general, and then uh, scroll all the way down to reset and erase all content and settings and then follow the on-screen information. So uh, you can tap on erase now and then keep pressing uh, the buttons and confirm. It's gonna ask you like three or four times if you're sure. And yes, you can do it because you have all the uh, necessary information saved and stored in iCloud. So with this, there's no way a virus can uh, outlive this because you're gonna clear your iPhone, you're going to factory reset your iPhone, and then you're going to get back your information. But those information, that information is clear of anything, okay? Because it's just basic information stored within applications. So there's no way uh, a virus infected that, that data, all right? So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in a few days, guys. Bye-bye.